hello hello beautiful people it's your girl shy Vivia, and welcome back to my channel if you have not done so just yet make sure that you go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell as well but without any further ado in this video I'm gonna be showing you how I achieve this hairdo now what I absolutely love about it is that it's super cute and it's just fun and flexible I mean you can dress it up elegantly or you can dress it down you know you can have a sporty look with it whatever works for you and then when you pull the curls down you have another hairdo in itself so it's very versatile so if you want to see exactly how I achieve this look make sure that you keep watching Alright guys, so I just washed my hair and I went ahead and um, just oil my scalp, oil my root and all of that. And I'm going to also oil as I go. Now, um, what I like to do is mix my oils. This is like an oil container that I have, but I mix my oil. So I like to mix um, like black cumin seed oil, um, black castor oil, um, coconut oil, um, sweet almond oil, um, oils like that and uh oh and neem oil also um it's pretty good so i like to mix my oils and i don't really use products in my hair like that um i do use eco styling gel for like the, the to style like the front of my hair and stuff like that but that's pretty much it um so i already went ahead and do that and um so this is the length of my hair if you can see I'm just going to do this real quick. So this is the length of my hair. Now with this hairstyle, you can absolutely achieve this look with um, with this length hairstyle. Um, this length that I have, longer locks or even medium length locks. Don't worry about that. Um, the tool that I'm going to be using, which I'm going to show you how to do that in a second, you can just adjust it to your hair length. So um, don't worry about your hair being shorter or, you know, longer or whatever. And actually, I had cut my hair three inches around this time last year. So it was a bit longer. So, yeah, but we're just going to get right into it. So I'm going to start out by palm rolling the root of my locks. This gives it a cleaner and a nicer finish, a cleaner look to it. So I'm going to just go ahead and palm roll the locks. And then, and as you can see, I'm doing a two at a time. And then I'm going to go ahead and twist those locks once I have palm rolled them. I'm not twisting them all the way down. I'm just twisting just a bit of it that much. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to be using this wrap a lot tool now you can get this off of Amazon I'm gonna include the link below um, now what we're gonna be doing you're going to secure the lock around the tip or the end or close enough to the end of the wrap lock tool and then you're going to secure it by bending the wrap lock tool because it's very flexible around the lock so that it kind of secures it and then once you have done that then you're going to roll up towards you so you're just going to keep rolling the locks um, towards you and once you do this try not to while you're doing this try not to overlap uh, the locks just keep rolling on um, a clean on a new piece of the wrap lock Now, once you have gotten to the end, if the the wrap lock is longer than it's, you know, it's extremely long, you can use a scissors. Now, please try not to cut your hair. It's gonna be a sad day if that happens. Um, but just cut it short enough, but also long enough so that you can secure the root of the lock so that it does not unravel. Um, and then I was able to finally get mine to pop off. So once you have done that, uh, then that's pretty much it. We've accomplished the first sets of locks and then we're just going to continue and keep going.
Now I'm gonna show you a trick real quick. Once you have gotten to the back of your hair and if you happen to run out of wrapper lock or you were only able to purchase one pack, what you're gonna do is you're going to secure the lock using your finger based on how long or short you want it. Then you're gonna just continue to wrap the lock in an upward motion. And then once you have gotten to the root of the lock, then you're going to wrap back in a downward motion. Motion. Um, and now try not to remove your finger because you're going to want to stick the end of the lock through that hole that you created and you may use a rubber band to secure it because it may not be perfect and it may unravel so I like to use a rubber band to just secure it and then you can just continue to do this to the rest of the back of the hair all right guys and there you have it a cute short bob like hairdo that you can dress up or dress down whatever you are feeling that day don't forget to follow me on facebook at shy bivia dm press and on instagram at the fly shy girl also you can follow my blog at the fly shy girl dot com if you liked this video be sure to leave me a thumbs up and a comment below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell as well for more video updates thanks for watching